A TikTok couple wrapped up in a murder investigation. Hey, John is okay. I am okay, you guys. I'm okay. Police say they shot and killed a 28-year-old man. What they say linked them to the crime and what police are telling us about a possible motive. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. The shooting happened August 1st in the small town of Rossville, Georgia, with a population of 4,000. It's a part of Walker County. It's right on the Tennessee border. Now, the sheriff, Steve Wilson, says that they received a 911 call about shots fired at a residence, and they found 28-year-old Dakota Bradshaw clinging to his life. He was rushed to the hospital where he later died. Now, the Georgia Bureau of Investigations would later secure a murder warrant. And Sheriff Wilson says that witnesses started sharing their accounts of what happened. And that's what ultimately led to their first arrest. So for the past couple of days in the media, I've been seeing like a lot of things about John and Y'all are concerned about John, is he okay? Has he harmed someone? Like, has he did anything to someone? No, he has not done anything to no one. This is 23-year-old influencer Eric Dodds and his final TikTok on August 16th, 15 days after the shooting. He was giving an update to his 800,000 plus followers on the arrest of his boyfriend and fellow TikToker, Jonte Collier, who he calls John. Collier had been arrested on August 8th. Y'all know John. John will not harm a soul. He's the most free-spirited, caring person that I know. Just one day after the post, Dodds would also be arrested. Early on, we began working uh, witnesses, uh, uh, people who live in the community, and uh, we were able to develop leads uh, within about uh, 8 to 12 hours that uh, uh, put us on a, uh, a track that, ultimately led to uh, the arrest of two individuals, uh, uh, 23-year-old John K. Kavan Collier and 23-year-old Eric Dodds of Huntsville, Alabama. The Walker County Sheriff spoke to us by phone, telling us that multiple witnesses came forward, describing two distinct vehicles speeding off shortly after the incident. Witness statements led us uh, to be looking for two different vehicles. One was a red pickup truck and one was a, uh, a Dodge uh, Charger Challenger. And uh, and uh, as it turns out, uh, those vehicles have been connected to uh, uh, Collier and Dodge. Those vehicles also eminently displayed in their photos on social media. A Dodge Ram matching the description of the red pickup truck scene and other selfies inside of a dark-colored sports car believed to be a Dodge Challenger. The investigation is not over by any means. It is still active and ongoing. Sheriff Wilson says that the victim, Dakota Bradshaw, was standing in front of a window of a home when he was shot. The suspects, according to police, were parked in the driveway and the shooter got into a red pickup truck. Sheriff Wilson says that it is still unclear who exactly pulled the trigger, but in a news release, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation says that they executed a search warrant over 100 miles away in Huntsville, Alabama, where they made their arrests. Police say they don't know why the suspects drove about an hour and a half away, and they have not revealed a motive. ENJ is okay, and we'll be back together and back posting very soon. The victim's family and friends have been active on social media. His mother, Tracy Bankston, wrote on Facebook, quote, that this is a pain that no mother should ever have to go through. Dakota, I'm not sure why this happened, son, but baby boy, I promise you there is no stopping your mom till every one of these people that are involved pay for what they have done to you. You know I love you, baby, with all my heart. I'm broken without you, but I will fight with all my might till justice is done. Police say that they are aware of Dodds and Collier's online presence and are pushing for people who know anything at all about this case to come forward. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.